guys and welcome to another Minecraft video. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to build this beautiful, beautiful boat design. Um, this is a boat, a slash, you can also use it as a, as a fisher's boat. Um, it's built by Protoss, um, one of the uh, builders, uh, Grand Dukes actually, on our server. He is a fantastic, fantastic boat builder and he is actually um, the person that has been making um, the music that I've been using in our videos um, So there will be a link on the top of the description um, To go buy his music and support Protoss um, he, He's a great builder um, And he allowed me to make a tutorial on this beautiful beautiful boat design um, It's gonna be quite a long video, but I hope you are strapped in it's it's a nice one I promise you you can see it in your screen right now there will be a full list of materials that I used in this video. Uh, so if you are building this in survival, first of all, good luck. And second of all, there is a list for you um, to help you out a bit. Um, and there will also be a list of time markers um, showing you the different parts of the video. We're going to start um, with our oak wooden blocks and first make the general shape uh, of this boat. And I'm going to do most of this boat, um, like the symmetrical parts, I'm going to do like only one side of it. So you have to copy what I do on the other side as well. But I will tell you that in the video as well. So, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, as you can see, I um, cut the water in half, um, just so this tutorial will be easier to follow. Um, this will just represent the water level. Uh, we are going to start with oak wooden planks uh, and we are going to start like right into the water level so the first that the block that is actually touching the first layer of water that is the layer we are going to start with okay what you want to do we're going to start on the back side of the boat um, and we're going to start with an oak wooden plank place another one so you have two of them right here in the water level then what we're going to do is we're going to go out like so uh, and these are going to be um, four blocks long. So one, two, three, four, like this. And one, uh, two, three, four, just like that. Then we are going to go out again. Uh, and we're going to make this one five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And the same thing on the other side. Like this. So one, two, three, four, and five. Yes. Um, then we're going to go in again. So it's one here. I had two, three, make these three long. Same thing on this side. So, uh, like this, they're three blocks long. And then the last one, the front side is also gonna be three blocks long, just like so. All right, this is where we are going to build our boat around. Um, everything I do right now, I'm going to do this side of the build. Um, you have to mirror everything I do on the other side as well. So everything I do on this side, you have to do on the other side as well. All right, we're gonna start in the middle, uh, right here on this plank. You're gonna build another plank and make this one three blocks long. So one, two, three, like so. And we're gonna go out and of course on the other side as well, but I'm not gonna show you that um, just to save some time. Um, build another plank right here. Um, so connecting to this one uh, sideways from that and make this one eight blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, just like that. All right, then we're gonna go in again, and then this one will be three blocks. So one, two, and three. And just like that, you've built um, the next layer. Now, moving on to the next layer, we're gonna start right here. So diagonal, not exactly connected to this block, but diagonal from it, and a diagonal from this block as well. Uh, we're gonna build a plank right here. And this plank is going to be three blocks long. So one, two, and three. Then we're going to go out like so. Um, build a uh, row of two, but also do it on the uh, inside right here. So just like that. Um, and then we're going to continue the middle one uh, for four more blocks. So one, two, three, and four. Like so. So it's first three blocks, then go out by two, but also fill in at the middle, and then go out by four more blocks, just like that. And that is the bottom side of this boat. Uh, we're gonna detail it more with stairs and stuff later on in the video. Um, now let's move on to the next level. We're gonna start right here on uh, this block, 
gonna build a block connecting to this, um, this block, and then another plank block uh, right connecting to this one. So this one is a row of two. Then we're gonna go out again, like so. Of course, on either side, but I'm only gonna show this side. And we're gonna build another row of two. So add one more block. Then we're going out again, like this. And this row is gonna be 10 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like so. Then we are going in again and make it three blocks. Uh, just like this. Uh, and then we are going back in the middle, right here. Uh, and make this one two blocks. Just like so. So one, two. Um, and now you should have this shape. Um, and if you did it on the other side already, you should have it on both sides. Well, let's move on to the next layer. Connecting to this plank right here, there's going to be another block, just like so. And then we are going out uh, again, making a row of two, like this, and going out uh, again, uh, making a row of four, so one, two, three, four, just like this. Then going out again, and making a row of five, so one, two, three, four, five, four, one, two, three, four, five, yes. Um, then going in again, making a row of three, so it has an overhang of one blocky. Um, then going in again and making a row again of three, again with an overhang right here. And then in the middle, uh, you can just place a one block just on top of this one. And of course, do the exact same thing on the other side as well. And I'm just going to do that really quickly and I will be right back. All right, yes. Um, now, what you want to do here on the back, um, we're going to start right here, um, on uh, this block right here, so just uh, behind the corner, on the back side of the boat. Uh, we're going to place a block here, and then make it a row of four, and of obviously do it on this side as well. So, a row of four, just like that. Then, um, what you want to do is to create a row of two here in the middle, just like so, and then connect them here in the middle. Just like that. And then for the last part, I'm going to place two blocks on this side. Then two blocks right here. Oh, just like so. And then just fill this up with more planks. Like this. Alright, yes. Then what you want to do for the front side is very simple. You start right here uh, on uh, this plank. And then make a row of two. Then make a row of um, two again. And then make a row of two at the end as well. So this end one has an overhang of one block. And of course, do the same thing on this side. Um, like this. And just like that, you have all the blanks um, for this boat. So, let's move on to the next part. So now, to give this boat a bit more shape, we're going to take out our oak wooden slabs and our oak wooden stairs. And we're going to start right here. Um, in the middle... Um, of this five, lo uh, five plank long um, row. We're going to place an oak wooden slab right there. Then underneath right here, what you want to do is right here in this corner, place a um, oak wooden stair, an upside down oak wooden stair, like this. Then a normal stair connecting to it. Then another normal stair, connect uh, upside down stair right there. And then another upside down corner stair right here. Just like so. Then up here, what you want to do is to place a um, upside down stair and a slab. And of course, everything I do right now, you have to do on the other side as well. So, um, an upside down stair right there and a slab uh, connecting to it. Then up here, what you want to do is two, uh, oh no, two upside down oak wooden stairs, just like that. Then moving on to this side, um, and all underneath all of these, you're just going to place um, an upside down oak wooden stair. The same goes for underneath all of uh, these. All of, underneath all of these, there's going to be upside down oak wooden stairs. Then what you want to do right here in the middle um, is to place an upside down stair uh, right here next to this log block on the front side right here. And then a top slab connecting to that one. Then on this side, what you want to do is to place an upside down stair um, like this. So connecting to both of these oak wooden blocks. Just like so. 
Oh, right. Then underneath all of this, uh, like right here at the bottom, right in the middle, um, we're gonna start at the same. Um, uh, yeah, connecting to the same plank as this slab right here. There's going to be a, a, a top slab right there, and then this one will continue uh, until right here underneath this upside down stair. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's five um, slabs long in total. Just like so. Then in the front side right here, underneath all of these um, corners, there will be upside down stairs. Just like so. And on the back side, um, you can do the exact same thing. So right here in the middle, it's all upside down oak wooden stairs. Like so. With one um, exception, like right here in the back. Uh, connecting to this uh, upside down stair. Like right there, there's gonna be another slab, just right there. Then underneath all of these will be upside down stairs as well. Alright, now once you've done that, we can move on to the next part. And for this part, we're gonna uh, take out our oak wood, um, the like four-sided um, oak wood texture, um, and we're gonna build a, a nice decorative border uh, all around this top part and what you want to do first is the back side and just place one on all of these and making sure that um, the texture is actually going up on all sides so you don't do it like this but you do it like so okay then um, fill these two up as well just like this then place two right here and two right there as well then um, this one will have an overhang of one block um, with another one on top. So uh, hanging over right here is going to be two of them. And then just a, r a row of normal ones, just like so. Then two right here. Obviously, have to do the same thing on this side as well. So this. And then two here. Then moving to the front front side. Um, I'm gonna place two of them here, two of them on this side as well. Um, then these in the front, um, this is gonna be a row of three, so this will have an overhang of one block, just like that. Same right here. Um, and then all the way in the front side, what you want to do is to place one more right here. And maybe this one can actually be a sideways one, just like that. Um, and yeah, um, that is it for these, this decorative border. Uh, we're gonna now move on to our normal oak lobes and uh, we're gonna make the actual point on the ship, the, the, the most front and part, I don't know what it's called, um, but it will look nice. So we're gonna start with the sideway lock connecting to this um, oak wood block that you just placed. And then we go up by a, like one block, uh, go diagonal, and then place another row of two and then do the same thing one more time uh, with two more just like so and as you can see this already starts looking like a very sexy boat well before we move on to the next part we are going to take out our oak wooden buttons first and add some decoration to this beast already um, what you want to do for that is to place two oak buttons on the back side right here and place two of them right there, two of them right here, and two of them in the middle uh, of these three. Um, and just like so, um, these will add to the decoration in the end, but it's it's nice to have them already placed. Then you can take out a spruce and fence and just place one right here. All right, yes. Now we'll move on to the floor and uh, what you want to do for the floor is to take out your oak wooden planks, your oak wooden slabs and your oak wooden stairs. And we're going to start all the way in the front uh, and what you want to do is the height of uh, this block. Um, you want to just expand that until you reach this point right here. So where it drops down you stop building planks. Then you're going to take out your oak wooden slabs and place two of them right there. Now we're going to go down a level. so. Obviously, it's a row of slabs, and then we're gonna start the next 
uh, ground floor just like this and we can just fill that in until we reach the other side so this is going to be your deck right here this is where you can walk when the, the, sh the boat is sailing and stuff wonderful we're going to the back side um, right where um, uh, this two block high pillar is we're gonna build um, two stairs connecting to it and then slaps in between just like that then it's another row of planks like so then it's another row of slaps oh oak wooden slaps yes my goodness and then it's another um, area of planks just oh like this yes and you can just fill the back side in and just like that you've created the deck of this boat um, it's getting along it's coming along very nicely let's move on to the next part all right for the next part you're gonna take out your spruce wooden slaps your spruce wooden stairs your spruce wooden planks and your spruce wooden fences and we're gonna start with some decoration um, around the ship um, we're gonna start right here in the middle uh, and just right above uh, this um, top slab you're gonna place an upside down spruce wooden stair with a spruce wooden slab on top and then two spruce wooden slabs on either side uh, of the top part of this upside down stair then it's two um, spruce wooden fences on top of course you have to do the exact same thing on the other side as well then right underneath here there's going to be a spruce wooden top slab with two more spruce wooden slabs right here connecting to uh, this part of the block then moving on to this part right here I'm gonna start with a spruce wooden top slab right here connecting to this bottom of this um, pillar right here and then the top part of this plank then what you want to do is to place a normal spruce wooden slab connecting to this block right here uh, this um, uh, oak wood plank uh, block yes uh, and then one right here so there's this gap um, in between them then what you want to do is to place a slab right here so you get a uh, this shape and then place an upside down spruce wooden stair on top of it then connecting to the top part of this um, upside down spruce wooden stair is going to be another um, slab like so then right here there's going to be a, a spruce wooden plank with a slab on top of it and then another spruce wooden slab right here connecting to the top part of this spruce wooden block and moving on to the back side uh, what you want to do for there is to place a um, two top slabs on either side um, like this and then one just diagonal above it right here in the middle just like so then two slabs um, underneath here um, or connecting to the top part of the first planks then it's an upside down um, spruce wooden stair in the middle with a spruce wooden slab on top like so so you get this lovely little shape now moving on to the front side uh, what you want to do for there so first we're gonna start with a spruce wooden slab right here then we're gonna take our spruce wooden plow no not spruce wooden planks it looks like a spruce wooden plank, uh, but it's a top slab, uh, a, a normal slab, and a top slab, like uh, this. So the uh, normal slab connects to uh, this um, wood block, and the top slab connects to the plank. Yes, you have eyes, you can see that. Um, then it's an upside down spruce wooden stair connecting uh, to uh, this wood block, right there. Then it's a spruce wooden plank right here, um, with a spruce wooden slab on top of it and a spruce wooden slab on the other side like this then right here there's going to be a similar shape so it's a spruce wooden slab first and then a spruce wooden plank with a slab on top of it like that and then two spruce wooden slabs like this then what you want to do is to place a spruce wooden slab right here a spruce wooden slab uh, diagonal from it and then another one diagonal from this one so you get this kind of staircase looking um, design then place a slab right here and a slab underneath it like so and do the same right here so a slab underneath right there and then all the way at the end there's going to be an upside down spruce wooden stair just like so so now you have the detailing um, of this boat very neatly done 
Uh, and of course, everything I just did has to be done on the other side as well. Um, and yeah, once you're done with that, we can move on to the next part. So, we're gonna start now with uh, the actual mast of this build um, and the sails and stuff. Uh, and what you want to do first is, of course, build the big mast that's gonna be in the middle of this boat. Uh, it's gonna be right here. So, um, f counting from here, right here in the middle, in between these two um, fences, and then right here in the middle. Uh, this is where the pillar is going to be. And this pillar is going to be 21 blocks high. So starting from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Just like this. So it's going to be a big, big, um, qu quite a bit bigger than most people expect. Um, but it's going to be very beautiful. Now, first thing you want to do is actually make this look supported. So what you want to do for that is to build um, spruce wooden stairs all around here. All right, so that already looks a lot more secure. Now, moving on, um, we're going to start with one of um, these um, wooden poles that hold the sail up. I'm not quite sure what they're called. Uh, probably find the answer in the comments below. Um, but we're going to start... Beautiful. Okay, Bauke from the future here. Um, I, I made a little mistake, um, so I'm not going to show you that. Instead, I'm going to show you the correct way. Um, right here, with the mast. Uh, the first thing you want to do is on the back side, right here. We are now on the right side of the boat. This is the back side of the boat. Um, you leave three blocks free from the bottom floor, from the floor. So one, two, three, and then place two side blocks collect connecting to this mast. Uh, this won't be there yet for you, probably. Um, Alright, now what you want to do is to go diagonal and um, forward like so. And then build three locks like this. Yes, pass Bauke. Don't place two here because you'll get into trouble later. Three blocks, yes. <laughs> um, then go up and diagonal again, just like this. And then place two more like so. And then go diagonal, but without going up, and then place two more, just like this. Then, what you want to do is place a um, spruce wooden fence right here. And a spruce wooden fence right here as well. And then we're going to take out our um, spruce wooden stairs, place a normal stair right here. Then, uh, behind here, there's going to be an upside down stair connecting to the outsides. Uh, of all of these locks. Yes, just like this. Alright, yes, moving on to the normal part of the video again. Now moving on to the other side. Uh, what you want to do is on uh, this level right here, we're going to place an upside down um, spruce wooden stair. And then connecting to it will be uh, one more uh, normal sideway lock. And then connecting to that will be another spruce wooden uh, upside down spruce wooden stair. And then what you can do on top here is actually place, um, oh, yes, two um, fences like this. Alright, well, that is the first one. We're gonna build a few more. So, what you want to do now um, is to actually look at your boat from this side. So, this is the front side, that's the back side. Um, and then right here, um, connecting to. Um, this fence you just placed is going to be a sideway lock, just like this. And then on the bottom of the sideway lock, there will be a spruce wooden um, slab connected on this side. Then on top of this fence, there's going to be another slab, and then connecting to that slab is going to be another sideway lock, just like that. Then on top of this sideway lock, there's going to be another slab, and then connecting to that slab is going to be another sideway lock right there. And then diagonal. Um, to the bottom of uh, this block right here, there's going to be a um, spruce wooden slab right here. So this is going to be part of another arm that's going to extend all this way. Yes. Now what you want to do here, um, this one is connecting to this block right here. Then the block above it will have a, a lock, a side will lock protruding from it, just like this. So right here, there's going to be a side will lock 
pointing to the back side. Um, then what you want to do is to go diagonal from it and then up one block just like so uh, and place another lock right here and then go uh, diagonal from that one but not to the sides just um, diagonal up like so and place another lock right there then you can do the same thing so go um, diagonal like to the sides like this and then just go diagonal up and forward like so um, so you have one two of those and now what you want to do is to uh, continue this until you have um, let's see three more pairs uh, of two so we're gonna first go uh, diagonal up and then just normal up like so then again diagonal up normal up and then one more time it's diagonal up and then normal up like this so it's quite a long one a big boy um, it's gonna be beautiful all right now uh, for the detailing here what you want to do on the first one right here this one um, this fir first pair of two there's gonna be a slap on top of this one and a spruce wooden fence underneath right here then for the second pair there's gonna be again a slap on top of this one and then underneath this one there's going to be a, a spruce wooden um, fence like so then for the next pair what you want to do is again place a slab on the first one like this and then you take out a spruce wooden fence and you place it right here connecting to uh, this lock like so then up uh, this block right here so the next pair there's going to be a slab right there and then um diagonal so connecting uh, to uh, this um the last pair right here uh there's going to be a slab right here with a slab on top there and then two um, spruce wooden fences uh, underneath this last side wheel lock, just like so. And then you can actually extend um, um, this by one more. So place another spruce wooden fence uh, connecting to this um, fence right there. All right, and that is it for that arm. Let's move on to the next one, shall we? So now we're gonna move on to this side. So you're looking at the left side of the boat. Uh, and then right here, um, where this side will look, meets this log pillar, uh, we're gonna leave this block free, then the block above it free as well, and then a block above uh, that, um, so this one here, that one right here, there's gonna be a, a spruce wooden fence, just like so. Then on this side, um, there's gonna be a spruce wooden slab, just like that. Then on top of the spruce wooden slab, there's going to be an oak log, uh, just like so, and then a sideway log on top of that. Diagonal um, from um, this log, there's going to be a slab just right there, with a log block underneath it, like so, and a lo uh, another top slab underneath that log block as well. And then looking from this side again, there's going to be some um, spruce wooden fences here as well. So one here, one connecting to that one, if it actually will connect. And then one underneath it as well. All right, now moving on to the last of these arms. Um, the end is in sight, yes. Uh, right here, um, from where you place the side look, there is like right diagonally above here, it's connecting to uh, this log right there. And there's going to be a um looking at the back side by the way there's going to be a um fence right here a fence on top of it as well and then a fence on the side connecting to actually con connecting to this um top one then on the other side um so where the top part of this these two meet um on the same block on the other side there's going to be a block right here as well then one block going out this way and then one block on top like so then what you want to do is to take out your oak wooden logs again and then build two logs on top of uh, this um, fence right here then uh, go up and diagonal like this and then build another two um, two oak wooden logs just like that then do the same thing again so go diagonal um, to that side of the boat um, and then up two again 
And then lastly, you just go up and don't go diagonal. So you go up to like this. Then you're going to take out your spruce wooden slabs. And place one spruce wooden slab on top of all of these. And on the bottom of all of these. Oh my god. Yes, like this and like that. And this one doesn't need one because there's a, um, a fence underneath it. Like so. All right. Now we're going to move on to the flagpole. Um, to do the flag, we're going to first place a cobblestone wall. Then place four uh, oak wooden um, fences. And then place a slab on top. Like so. Yes. And if you want a beautiful flag design uh, on here, I recommend you watch... Um, my previous videos where I showed you how to do a few different flag designs. The link will be in the screen and in the description below. So that is basically it for all um, the wooden parts. We're gonna move on now to the beautiful sails and make this beast um, very very pretty. So I'm gonna do that really quickly. And then in the end uh, I'm gonna show you how to turn this boat into a fishing ship as well. So, first thing we want to do before making the sails is right here on the front side, um, connecting to um, this fence right here. There's going to be another fence and one on top of that as well. And this right here is where uh, the front sail, the, the triangular sail, is going to be attached to. So what you want to do is to place one um, right here, so it actually connects, yes, like this, um, with... Um, this fence and is diagonal from this log block. Then what you want to do is to place two more uh, on the sides right here. Then place uh, two on top like this and then one more on top like that. Then right here connect um, with another wool block then one more wool block on top like so and then do the same thing again. So you have to go um, sideways up, sideways up like so. Then the next block is going to be diagonal from uh, this one, um, just like so. And then the next one is going to do the exact same, so go up diagonally. Then the next one will also be up diagonal, but this one won't stand alone. This one will have a little friend um, like this, so um, two of them like so. Then two more like this, with one on top like this. And then lastly, what you want to do is to do two and then two on top of that and one on top right there and then two more right here and just like that that's the top part of the sail then uh, the sail is in the wind obviously so it's not going to be completely flat it's going to curve nicely uh, make it look like it's, there's actually wind blowing into the sail uh, and what you want to do for that we're going to move on to this side um, we're going to make it go outwards like this so you're going to first start by placing two right here, then a row going up of three, like so. Then it's uh, one underneath here, then this one can go out again, and this one goes in again right here. So this is the end of a build right there. Um, then from here, again, go up two. Then connecting to um, this block right here, you go out like so, go uh, down, and then go place two on top like this then connecting uh, to this block right here place two on top of those then build um, a block of two by two like so so connecting uh, to this one is going to be boop, 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 four of them right there then we are going to do the exact same thing again so go up like so and then four again like that and then finally we're going to place one on the top right here as well so that is the next row. Now we're gonna now move on to uh, this part right here. So connecting to this is gonna be a pillar of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then there's uh, from here we're gonna build down again. But then do uh, we're not gonna touch the bottom one. So this is where it starts to curve again. And then finally right here there's gonna be um, one right here, one on top, and then one below that, just like so. Alright, now right here the flag is starting to um, move back in again, so it's, it can connect um, with um, the mast again and have nice lovely flowing curves in here. 
Uh, what you want to do is right underneath and diagonal to it. So one block behind that um, is going to be a wool block right there. And then build three more underneath it. So one, two, three. So it's four block, four blocks high. Then it's going to be two uh, right here, just like so. And then uh, right here in the middle is going to be two more, just like that. Then diagonal in this corner, there's going to be one more block. And then diagonal from there is also going to be uh, one more wool block, just like that. And as you can see, this um, fence that we placed all the way in the beginning is now finally connecting to this sail. And as you can see, this is starting to look very nice already. Alright. Now... Moving on to uh, these sails right here. So we are going to start with um, this top sail right here and then we're going to fill in the bottom one. So for the top, what you want to do, uh, we're first going to place two wool blocks right here. So at the same level and on uh, the left side of the ship, um, on the same level uh, as where these two log blocks connect. Um, there's going to be two wool blocks right there, then diagonal down from there, there's going to be two more wool blocks, just like so. Then a diagonal up from here, connecting to all of these um, lovely fences. There's going to be another wool block, just like there. Then connecting to that, there's going to be a wool block. And then build down two more, just like so. Then connecting here. Uh, in the middle, just build down um, three blocks, just like that. So it's a pillar of three. Uh, yeah, just like this. Then uh, connecting to the middle one right here and connecting to this uh, log block, there's going to be another wool block right there. And then lastly, what you want to do is right here, uh, place another wool block right there. So this one is actually diagonal and also connecting to this um, fence right here. All right, moving on. So going um, out diagonal from this block right here and then going to this side like so. Placing two more on top of uh, the left one, and then uh, three more right here on this side, just like so. Then starting from this block, we're going to go out diagonally, like so. Um, then build it up uh, by two more blocks, just like this. Then go to the side and go up, like that. Then behind here, um, diagonal from this uh, log block and connecting to this log block is going to be another wool block right here. Then connecting to the middle one on this side, there's going to be a one, two of them, like so. Then on top here, there's going to be one more. And then connecting to that one, it's going to be well, one more, just like that. So this one connects to this uh, log block right there. Then right here, we're going to go out again um, with another wool block, like so. Then build. Um, a row of three on top like this Then on this side is gonna be two more like this with one on top just like that And then from here, we're gonna go diagonally and then in um, And then placing two more on top So this one is three blocks high just like that and it's actually starting to connect again with the corner of um, this uh, These two log blocks like so and then behind here what you want to do is place one here, um, connecting to the back side of this one, and then uh, one more on top. And you can actually remove um, this um, what was it? spruce wooden slab, yes, uh, and place another log, uh, wool block right there to actually make it connect even better. All right, um, that is it for that sail. We're going to now move on to the sail below it. And then we will done. We uh, we will pretty much be done. Um, and I'll show you some more detailing tricks to make this even better. All right, let's move on. All right, yes. Moving on to the last parts of the sails. If anything changed here, this is maybe where I uh, started to realize that I had made a mistake in the past. But everything is back to normal again. Wonderful. Now. <laughs> what you want to do for this backside is to take out your white wool. 
and make a pillar of five blocks right underneath this side block. So one, two, three, four, five. So it connects um, with this fence right here. Then on the second one, you can place a block like right there. Um, and then um, on this one and this one is going to be two more wool blocks like this. Then connecting uh, to this block right here, we can go diagonal like so. And then place four more uh, wool blocks on top like that. So it starts connecting with um, these fences that we placed earlier. Then connecting to the bottom one, you can place another wool block, then go uh, one block down like this. And then place two more wool blocks on top, like so. Then connecting to the second uh, from below, there's going to be another wool block right here. And then we can start going out again, like so. So a wool block right there with two more wool blocks on top, like so. Then going in this way. It's not going in, but going to the left here. Um, another wool block connecting uh, to this wool block right here. And then place two more uh, on top, like so. Then connecting to this top part right here, there's going to be another wool block right here. One on top, and then one diagonal, uh, like so. So these two, and then one diagonal right there. Alright. Now, right here, um, we can go out even more, just like so. So diagonal from everything here, there's going to be another wool block right there. Then connecting to that, another one, surprisingly. Then two more on top, like so, so you fill that entire hole. And then underneath here, there's also going to be two, like this. And then we go out uh, to the right, uh, and then one more down, like so. And then you can finish it up with one more um, going out that way, to the right. Then behind here, what you can do is... Um, Connecting to uh, this wool block right here, we can go to the right like that, then go down, and then add two more to the right, like so. Then up here, what you want to do is to go out uh, one more block, like so, then place two more blocks on top of that. Then from the bottom one, you can go out one, then go down one, and then place four more on top like so and connecting to this top one uh, this top one is going to be um, a one block right here then two blocks underneath three blocks on top like so and actually what you can do is to uh, at the top part you can go out one block and then one block on top here like so so it connects with this uh, fence right here and all we need to do is to fill in this part and then we will be done with the sails. So what you want to do is uh, connecting to this block right here, place a, a wool block right there, a, a wool block on top, like so, then another wool block on top, then another wool block to the right, and then one more going up and connecting with this um, look, side by look, yes. And then we have both of the sails very neatly built just like so all right now what i want to do uh, like to do um when actually detailing about uh, i like to randomize some uh, gray wool in uh, the the white wool so um the boat is actually very nice looking with the randomization i don't know the randomization makes this boat like in my opinion 10 times better so i'm just going to do that real quickly and show you what it looks like all right yes uh, as you can see i just randomly placed some light gray wool blocks inside um the white wool and as you can see like in my opinion it already looks so so much better um there's so much more depth and and stuff added just by adding these random colors um and I, right here on top i added um one of the flags that i showed you in my previous video if you want to see that video the link is in the description um and it fits really well with this boat. Uh, and look at it. It's just a very cute boat. Alright, now. Um, I'm gonna... Sh lastly, you can use this boat as is. Uh, if you want to use it like this, that is fine. Then the video is now over. Uh, but I'm gonna add something that will turn this into a fishing boat as well. Um, so, if you want a fishing boat, then keep on watching. 
So to create this um, fishing net, what you need is your oak wooden logs, your spruce wooden slabs, your spruce wooden planks, your spruce wooden stairs, some cobwebs uh, for the nets, and some spruce wooden fences. So we're gonna start right here on the right side of the boat, um, and right here on top of uh, this two block high um, wood pillar, we're gonna place four more um, oak. Um, log so one two three four just like so then we're gonna place a um, spruce wooden slab on top of it like that then leaving one block free we're gonna place um, two spruce wooden fences just like so all right this is gonna be the pillar that's holding up the net then what you want to do is take out your spruce wooden stairs um, and then on this side so um, on the from the front looking back um, we are gonna leave a one block free then place a spruce wooden stair like this then one upside down spruce wooden stair like that then connecting to the top one it's gonna be a spruce wooden um, plank that is gonna be a spruce wooden slab connecting to it like so and and then um, connecting to the bottom side of the spruce wooden plank there's gonna be four spruce wooden slabs like this so one two three four um, then what you want to do is take out your cobwebs and these will function as your nets then uh, right here connecting to this one there's gonna be a pillar of three blocks so one two three like so then this one will be five um, one two three four five like so, so this one oh just one block above the water and the next one is gonna be four so uh, one two three four and this is simulating like um, fishermen's nets that you just fish out of the water um, yes and that is pretty much it so just like that you have a lovely little boat slash fishers boat um, yeah um, yeah that is pretty much it for this video um, yeah it was quite a long one the recording took way longer it's almost two hours holy moly damn um, I hope I can cut it down quite a bit. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please rate, comment and subscribe. Also subscribe to all the people in the description below. Tell us in the comments below what you want to see next time. And we will see you in the next video.